I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and we're here today to talk with Jack Shatama from Pocomath Camp and Retreat Ministries about something that they've done. This is the second one, and it's a farm-to-table dinner um, using all local products. They have a wonderful chef out there, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the event, and it's it's coming up, so you really need to find out about it so that you can participate. Hi, Jack. Welcome. Hi. Thanks. So tell us about how this event came about, um, you know, how do you get your products, that type of stuff. Okay. Well, uh, it, it started because our chef, Chris Schultz, um, is an avid gardener. Okay. And last year, uh, he and his brother, Matt, who's a horticulturalist, started a, a one-acre um, sustainable garden. Okay. And the, the, the primary use for the vegetables was for the kitchen um, in our retreat center uh, okay. because we provide adult dining. Uh, Chris is trained from the Culinary Institute of America, and so it's really nice to have you know, fresh produce uh, right. in your dining operation. Uh, and we thought, well, the next logical step would be then to uh, do a farm-to-table dinner um, with locally sourced products uh, from around the area uh, to help support the garden effort. Right. The garden is also part of an effort that we have to teach about care of creation and sustainable living. So we have uh, a lot of different ways that we teach children, youth, and adults That's, about how we care for the I land. I was going to ask, who takes care of the garden? Is it Does he have like volunteers that come and help him with this? Or? We have some volunteers who come in. Uh, uh, Chris and, and Matt put a lot of time in, and we do have another volunteer uh, from Smyrna, Delaware, uh, who, who's a lifelong agriculturalist and okay. who has started sustainable gardens at St. Andrew's School in Middletown and managed the William Penn High School program in Newcastle County. So oh. uh, he's had a lot of experience, and, and he came on this year, and he's giving us one day a week. Oh, so, wow. Yes, okay, yes. so this, because I, I said, do you call it a garden or whatever? Because it's an acre, so it's it's pretty big. Yes, it's a it's a lot. Of, there are a lot of weeds. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there are a lot of weeds. Weeds, no matter how big. Um, so the dinner. Do um, I know this year? You said the menu is a is still a closely guarded secret. Um, but it is on July 27th, and it's at 4.30. And people might not even know where you're located at. Um, you want to tell us where you're at? And some is there history with the camp there? Um, what yes. Is it the, the wharf? Or? Booker's Wharf. Booker's Wharf. Uh, okay. Booker's Wharf uh, was a recreation area when the Methodist Church purchased it in 1946 for a Christian okay. camp. Uh, so we've been around for uh, over six wow. decades. And um, we are at, it, the, you can get there either Spaniard Neck Road from the south or Island Creek Road from the north. Okay. Uh, if you run up and down 213, you've probably seen our sign at Island Creek Road. Right. Uh, we're right on the Chester River. We have about 4,000 feet of shoreline on the Chester. And the, the garden is kind of in the upland area. We have 275 acres um, and have cabins and dorm style facilities and uh, a conference center as well. And and so, you know, you just don't come there for camp. You have other activities that go on there and people can actually rent your facilities for conferences and things. Yes, that's correct. And, and I, your building's new. Isn't it relatively we, new? We opened in September of 2011. Okay. Uh, it's 26,000 square feet. Wow. We have uh, 24 hotel rooms and four meeting rooms, 125 person dining room, which is why we hired a chef. Right. Because um, we didn't want people eating uh, chicken nuggets and tater tots right. in a facility like that and and uh, Chris has done an, an amazing job with that. So how many people um, are there still tickets available for the dinner? Yes there are um, we'll we'll limit seating to between 60 and 75 Wow people. so yeah. this is huge yeah okay mm -hmm. and I guess you have the space for it so why not use it yes um, and so that's July 27th, and we'll have information up on the screen of how they can get a hold of you um, to get tickets and more information about it. Um, while we have you here, tell us about some of the other items that you have, the other events that you have out at P Camp Pocomath. Is it Pocomath or Camp Pocomath? I'm used to calling it Camp Pocomath. Well, everybody calls it Camp Pocomath. <laughs> yeah, there and, we go. <laughs> and um, it, it's been a camp for as long right. as we've been around. We're right in the middle of our summer sessions right now. Okay. Our summer programs run Sunday to Friday. They're overnight programs. Um, and uh, it, but because we have the new retreat center, uh, we kind of rebranded and said Pocomath Camp and Retreat Ministries, gotcha. so that adults realize that if they're it's, coming there, they're not staying in a bunk bed; right, they're actually right. staying in a queen bed with a private bathroom, that that kind of thing. Uh, we want we run programs. For example, up in August, we have a silent retreat week coming up, where uh, people can actually come and kind of go through. It's it's not really a monastic routine, but 
uh, a routine that, where they uh, spend time in silence. They have okay. a spiritual director. Uh, we offer yoga and massages. Um, we have different programs throughout the year uh, for churches uh, to come. Uh, we also uh, work, for example, in the garden. We've partnered with uh, the Queen Anne's County High School uh, Environmental Science Program, Gretchen Mann, oh. over at the high school. Okay. Uh, they've come to do a unit in our garden. Uh, oh, that's that's a great um, partnership yes, there. Because we're with you know we we did the garden to help with our kitchen, but it was really right. to try to model sustainable living. Right. Oh, wow. Uh, um, we uh, we just recently completed this spring a living shoreline. Uh, that uh, it was actually uh, the Chester River Association got a grant from the Chesapeake Bay Trust okay. uh, to install 200 feet of living shoreline right um, in front of our fellowship hall, which is right on the water. Okay, And um, that's a sustainable practice that uh, protects your shoreline but creates wildlife habitat right. and uh, filters stormwater runoff. And so, uh, again, that's an another way we can kind of teach people about how important it is to protect the bay. So you have so. a lot going on out there. And I know one other um, aspect, you have a challenge course there. That's and, correct. And yes. we were talking about this earlier. A lot of people probably don't realize that you have one there that people can come and have, um, you know, companies come and do team bonding uh Yes. Exercises. Yeah, challenge challenge course is really a great way to uh, promote cooperation right. and build trust. Uh, and so it, we do it with our summer camp, but we also do it with with church groups, youth groups, corporations um, to try to help them to become better in in focusing on their mission. Wonderful. So um, come to the farm and table dinner, and while you're there, take a look. Have you know, take a look around. And you you guys do an open house every spring, don't you? That's right. Right. It's called Pacomath Day. There we go. It's the fourth Saturday in April. Okay. Uh, usually somewhere mid to late April, you'll see the banner uh, hanging in across two thirteen <laughs> on the northbound yep. side. Um, and that's just a family fun day. We we want it's a free event. Uh, we have hay rides and kids games and inflatables and music and a petting zoo and and mainly uh, we do hay ride tours so that people can uh, see what, get a feel what's for the there property. because yes. they again they see the signs like you say that say Camp Pacomath on two thirteen and people don't realize what exactly is there. So right. um, so the farm to table dinner is July twenty seventh. And information's up, and they can contact you. So yes. thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me.